Hello. Hello. Hello, everybody. Me and Fred are here to do some more for our next. Uh, firstly, I think we're going to do our flashcards. Warm up our brains. Okay, so remember, when you see the flashcard, you um, say the phoneme and do the actions. Okay, here we go. A or E Qu J G D Well done. There was a lot of phonemes that we've learned now, isn't there? It's an awful lot to remember, but you did fantastically well. Okay. So the next thing I want to remind us of is the last time we were here, we were learning a new phoneme. And that was this one over here. Or. And if you remember, we had to do our donkey ears. There we go, Fred. We, have to, we had to make a donkey noise. E. O, E, O, E, O, E, O. And if you remember, we were concentrating on the one over here. O. Okay. Right then. So, just to remind us, let's, let's do our magic fingers. And let's make that diagraph in the air. Okay. I remember our diagraph. Two letters, one sound. Okay, so we start at the top and we go all the way around. Okay, then we do the R, start at the top. You come down, back up and over. Or, okay, you can have a practice of that at home as well. Right, this time I want us to do some reading of some words that have the OR phoneme in them. So I am going to say the word, we are going to stretch it out and then I want you to have a go at writing that word. I am using a phoneme frame because it helps me think about all those individual sounds because in every box I put my grapheme, I write my grapheme down, my phoneme. Okay, here we go. The first word is torn torn i'm going to stretch it out T -on. torn okay i want you to press pause and write that word down pause okay 
hope you've had a go at writing that word. Me and Fred are going to have a go at that now. So, Fred. T -orn. T -t -t. That's that first initial sound, that first initial phoneme. T and then what can you hear, Fred? T -orn. Oh, our new phoneme. Well done, our new phoneme. And because it's a digraph, two letters, one sound, I put that in the same box. And the last sound, Fred? Mmm. Okay, your favourite. Mmm. Torn. Fred? Torn his trousers when he skidded across the floor on his knees. <laughs> Yes. Right, let's rub that one out. Okay, our next word. Cork. Let's stretch it out. K -ork. Okay, right then. Press pause, have a go. Right. Me and Fred are going to have a go at writing that word now. K -ork. What can you hear first, Fred? K -k -k. K -k. What's the next sound you could hear, Fred? Or our new phoneme. Or let's put our sound buttons on. And what's the last sound you can hear, Fred? K now then, this word's a bit of a rule breaker. Is it? Because normally we say. You can hear a k at the end, looks like that. Well, this one has just got that one there. But if you did that, that's fine because it's still the k, it's still the same, all the same sounds that one, that one, and that one. So don't worry if you've heard that phoneme, I'm happy. Okay, right, let's do another word, Fred. Okay. Cord. Cord. K -o -d. Right, let's press pause. You have a go at home at writing cord. Pause. Okay, Fred, we, it's our turn. Cord. And what's the next sound you can hear, Fred? Or oh, our new phoneme. Or oh, our new phoneme. It's up there so we can see it, isn't it? And what's the last sound, Fred? D. D. Cord. OK, now, when we go into the bathroom, we have a light cord that we can pull on so we can see what we're doing. Cord. Yeah. All right. Right then, oh well, I was going to rub that off, but actually I need to take that off now. Because I've got a sentence and we are going to play the yes and no game. So we need to be able to read our sentence. Oh, a little bit of the letters come off there. We need to be able to read our sentence, okay, so that we can work out whether it is a yes or a no. Because at the end, we have a question, okay, so we can answer it with yes or no. Right, I don't know whether this is a good idea for you to do at home first. So, in a moment, I'm going to get you to press pause. Now, you can either read it on your screen, okay, or if it helps, you can write the sentence out so that you can ring those key words and put your sound buttons underneath. You decide what's best for you, okay? And then you can press play when you've finished all that and me and Fred will go through it all and you can see if you've got it right, okay? Right, you get busy. Pause. Okay, over to me and Fred. So Fred, the first things we would like you to do is can you spot some key words before I start reading anything? Can. Thank you, Fred. 
Have you spotted another one? Ah. Thank you, Fred. Any more? You. Oh, thanks. Right, we've got one or two words that we know already because they're our key words. Can, you, and ah. So let's work out this one. I'm going to put my phoneme buttons underneath to help me. So, Fred. P, I, K. P, I, K. P, I, K. Pick. Right, let's read. Can you pick? So, this word here. Sound buttons. Up. Up. Brilliant. Let's read what we've got so far. Can you pick up a? Last word. Okay. Fort. 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 Okay, let's read that sentence. Can you pick up a fort? Now, a fort is quite an old building, okay? Probably kept people, lots of people safe. Right, now you need to answer the question. So we'll reread that sentence one more time. Can you pick up a fort? Right, and you can come up to the screen and point to the answer. Yes, here we go. Is it a yes or a no? What do you think, Fred? Uh, no, if it's a building, you can't really pick it up. Yeah, that's right. No. Can you pick up a fort? No. Right, let's have a look at our next question. Because it is a question, because it's got a question mark at the end. That means we can give it an answer. OK, so like last time, I'm going to get you to press pause. You can do just like what me and Fred did. And you can either read it out at home or you can write it down so you can put, sort, you know, identify those keywords and then put your sound buttons underneath to help you read your other words. All right then, press pause now. Pause. Okay, well done for giving it a go and me and Fred are going to go through it now. So the first thing I'm going to do, Fred. Keywords. Keywords. And I've spotted can. A. A. You. And you. Okay. So those keywords were spotted. Can, you and a. So we need to work out this one. It's got a diagraph. It's got a diagraph. Let's have a look then, Fred. Lick. 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 Can you lick a? Let's have a look here. Okay. Now, it's got a diagraph. So, Fred, because that diagraph makes a th or a s, we need to decide. What are we going to go with, Fred? Um, th. Th. Okay. Th. Or, n. Thorn. Thorn. Can we try the other one with the big tongue? Yeah, I th that doesn't sound right. That's why I'm going to try the other one. So we're going to do this one. Thorn. 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 Oh, yeah, I know what a thorn is. He knows what a thorn is. Remember, he got it stuck in his little hand when he was playing in the garden. Let's read our sentence. Now we understand it all. Can you lick a thorn? Okay, I'm going to put the words up near the screen so you can point to them. Can you lick a thorn? What do you think? Oops, that's a bit wobbly. What do you think, Fred? Can you lick a thorn? I wouldn't want to lick a thorn. Okay, so Fred says no. He does not want to lick a thorn. Okay, that's the end of our phonics today. We've done lots of reading and you've done really well. So we'll see you again next time. Bye. Bye-bye.